with a new documentary. I put myself in crazy situations. Oh! And <laughs> survived them. Book and home reno show. Welcome to Arcady. Pamela Anderson is back and telling her own story. The director of the new documentary says a big push came from her own family. I don't think Pamela would have done this without her sons. They really were tired of their mother being misunderstood. In both the book and documentary, Anderson describes growing up poor in small town British Columbia and details allegations she was sexually assaulted and raped at a young age. That's contrasted with the empowerment she says she felt finding success at Playboy and on Baywatch until a private sex tape was stolen and then released. It's not funny. <laughs> not funny. This is devastating to us. At the height of her fame, uh, the culture's relationship to Pamela Anderson was to treat her as an attractive punchline. This writer says Anderson is part of a larger trend of how society is revisiting how women were treated. We've been talking about the way that we spoke about women in the early 2000s and in the 90s and for, you know, as long as I can remember, for a long time. That didn't stop a production company from making this TV show. What the hell is this? The show is Pam and Tommy, last year's fictionalized retelling of the sex tape scandal. In a recent interview with Variety, Anderson tried to laugh it off. Assholes. But documentary director Ryan White was there and saw how Anderson reacted when the show premiered. Whenever it would come up where you could see her viscerally uh, want to escape. While experts say the industry still has lessons to learn, White isn't worried about Anderson. Pamela survived some crazy shit and has come out on the other end and she'll turn 56 years old this year. Pamela's not old. Like Pamela has a lot of life ahead of her when she's sharing on her own terms. Eli Glasner, CBC News, Toronto.